Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Super League. It's your boy Odin, and today we're going to be doing a brand new Astromon review that is going to be for the brand new Astromon Sariel. Um, and uh, I actually think that she is one of the better Nat 5s to be released as of late. And uh, I think that a lot of you guys should definitely, definitely skip the clan festival this month. Uh, the reason why is because that Sariel or Sariel uh, new Astromon actually brings a lot of value for a lot of you new players. Uh, particularly in the arena and Apophis, uh, uh, basically areas. So I think that some of you guys can afford to skip the clan festival this month and pull for uh, Sariel, who I'm positive, 100% positive, is going to be getting her Primo Festival during the uh, discounts uh, week here later in the month, right after the Heroes Festival. So uh, right off the bat, guys, I'll start off with the Fire One. The Fire One has... Uh, she's a balance type. She is... Um, She's got 31,125 HP, 3,000 attack, 2,900 defense, and uh, almost 2,600 recovery. Uh, her attack is actually pretty decent for a balanced mod, but her defense is just so good. Um, and I think that she is a pretty decent uh, Astromon for arenas. She has a critical, hit, uh, critical rate uh, boost uh, to, for the variant leader skill. Um, not really necessary for her typing. Um, in the beginning, they when they released this new uh, Astromon's details, especially in the image, there was an error where it showed that she had the crit damage leader skill instead, uh, which would actually have been made made her pretty broken, especially for Apophis. Uh, but we'll talk about that soon. Uh, but yeah, so she, unfortunately, she only has crit rate up for the leader skill, um, but it's pretty decent enough to be used in either in arena um, if you're lacking a little bit of crit rate. Um, or, you know, uh, in things like the uh, Dimensional Defense Dungeon as well. So, can definitely be a decent leader skill, but you don't need to have one of her variant to make her really stand out. Um, but anyways, the Fire one's really good. I would put her on HP Defense Defense on a Gem of Healer set or a Gem of Maggie set. That's just me personally. Uh, but you guys can definitely make good use out of her on a Gem of Life set or Gem of Protection. I would say that uh, Gem of Bastion is a pretty good set for her as well, but Gem of Bastion really only lasts about one turn uh, during the active week, so it's not really the greatest uh, gem sets uh, for arenas, but the Fire one is pretty decent. I do like her kit. Uh, her stats, like I said, is really where she shines, where she's got that 2900 defense, um, and her attack animation is actually pretty solid as well, so... I think they did a pretty good job. I like her model. Um, in the uh, intro and the trailer, she looked uh, a little bit uh, better just because of the way that she was standing. But they basically made her stand up all the way straight. But for those of you guys who are looking for a new waifu, there you go. She's actually pretty decent. Um, and I, I do enjoy her model for sure. All right. So moving on to the water one. The water one is actually pretty... Um, unique because she is a double exposed weakness character uh, she is a defender type with 27,700 hp 2533 attack 3344 defense and 2424 recovery here's the thing about the water sariel uh, she is mainly going to be an exposed weakness buffer for apophis um, and she can be used on the light titan as well if you're using you know 3d buffers and her um, however, I don't think that she necessarily fits that well in Titans. She's much better for Apophis. Um, if she had that crit damage leader skill, she would have been absolutely godly. But because they essentially made that mistake and changed her up, it completely changed how she would be placed uh, um, for the Apophis setup. But she can be used uh, very well there on the left-hand side. For her gem set setup, as same as before, I would probably put her on HP defense. Um, or HP, HP defense, because she is a defender and she's mainly there to uh, lay down the exposed weakness. And like I said, her attack animation is pretty fast, which means it's always going to be up there for the next attacker. Um, but uh, it is a shame that she doesn't have the crit damage leader skill. Otherwise, she would have been top tier for Apophis. Um, that's it for the uh, water wand. There's really not much in any other uses for her. Like you can use her in dragons or um, you can also use her in um, golems. But uh, there are better options to auto battle Gollum. So, you know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you guys to, you know, go all crazy and build her up first. Uh, the next one here, and this is the creme de la creme, is the wood attacker one. Uh, she comes in with 28,765 HP, 3773 attack. That is the same attack power that the water or the wood Miho has. So she's actually really good. Her defense is 2690. 
and her recovery is 2254. I will say that her defense could have been a little bit higher, but they decided to stack a little bit more of attack. And if I were to go over to where the Midsummer Miho is, who's actually right here underneath her, she's at 3766 with 2683 defense. So they're basically almost tied up as far as stats go. Um, and if you guys don't have a wood, or if you guys have a wood, some wood midsummer Miho, then you know that she's actually a pretty good hitter. Uh, so right off the bat, I will say, guys, the wood one is going to be the best one out of the bunch, uh, with the uh, followed by the light one. I think the light one's actually pretty good as well. Um, but the wood one is going to be super, super broken, especially in arenas. Uh, she is essentially the counterpart to John Wuchi, Fire John Wuchi, who is also a double. Uh, uh, lethal striker so she's going to be really really good for apophis she's going to be dealing a ton of damage and in the wood or the water lineup right now for apophis she fits in perfectly um, on the right hand side as a damage dealer so uh there you go guys i would say that the wood one's going to be the best out of the rgbs um and you want to put her on a triple attack crit or ruin set if you don't have a ruin set you can put her on attack attack crit damage on a uh, valor set um, if that doesn't work, you can put her on an armor set triple attack as well. That'll give you some pretty decent damage. Um, so I'll repeat that again. If you don't have attack, attack, crit damage, ruin, triple attack, ruin is going to be your best set. Um, or triple attack, armor, and then triple attack, uh, valor, or attack, attack, crit damage on valor. Those are going to be your best sets for her for uh, building damage in Apophis. Uh, but overall, like I said, guys, I think she's actually really, really good. I can't wait to get my hands on her. Unfortunately, you know, like I said, uh, you know, she's just brand new. So not a lot of people are going to have her. Uh, but there is going to be some new stuff coming up here. Probably her Primo Festival, like I said, towards the end of November, uh, right after the Heroes Festival. So make sure that you guys are saving up your Astro Gems for her. Um, I spent another 10,000 Astro Gems getting some uh, trinkets just now on Arthur. Um, so that's why I'm a little bit lower, but I am going to start saving up for her next. All right, so moving on to the first one here, which is the light one. She is also an attacker type. She comes in with 30,720 HP, 3780 attack, so much higher attack. Defense 2874, so much higher defense, and recovery 2247. So when you look at an attacker, this is pretty much what you want. You want a 30k base HP with a 3700 attack and at least a 2700 defense and so she's a little bit above that so in my opinion the light one is going to be really really good for apophis uh especially because you can essentially put her on the right hand side instead of uh, somebody like the venus and sneak in just the hana with the defense up so she does bring in a little bit of a change as to how the lineups work uh, but she does have a pretty decent set of skills and I uh, hope I manage to pull one during her Primo Festival if they do decide to, you know, launch her into the Primo first. Uh, because I do think that she will be uh, really, really good. Her variant is actually really, really nice as well. There you go. Um, so I would definitely love to build a light one if I can get my hands on one. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be quite a bit uh, before that happens. Unfortunately, like I said, I really wish she would have had that crit damage leader skill. They only give her the critical hit, cr critical boost. Um, but it is what it is, but lethal strike and attack up is a deadly combo. So, uh, really good. She's also going to be really good in arenas. Um, if you, if you compare her to fire Wuchi, you could definitely, uh, you know, say that she is very comparable, um, as far as attack goes. So, and if you were managed to get like something like a, um, dev strikes or even just a shield, uh, for her, uh, super ascension skill, she would be really, really broken. So, uh, there you go, guys. That's it for the uh, light one. Uh, like I said, attack, attack, attack on crit damage uh, ruin set or attack, attack, crit damage on a ruin set uh, followed by armor set. It's probably going to be her best type for sure. And let's go take a look at the dark one. The dark one is actually pretty solid as well. She is a tank type. Uh, she does come in with 50,000 HP, so really high HP, 2300 attack, 2780 defense, and 2432 recovery. So the dark one's actually pretty nice because she does also have resistance down for the five, three star skill and then aggression for the five star skill. But the resistance down is really so good because, you know, it's 100% to reduce defense down for two or reduce resistance for two turns. So uh, she can definitely be really, really good, especially if you use her with like a stunner or a shocker like light Yuki. Uh, she's going to be really, really good um, as an attacker, and she can be really, really good on defense as well. So 
Um, that, there you go, guys. I think so for the, the dark one, triple HP or HP defense defense is going to be really good for her. Um, she is an aggression, um, I guess, mon as well, though. So you might want to stick with triple HP on a ruin set. Um, if you can't work a ruin set, uh, triple HP on a gem of healer is going to be probably really good or a pugilist set. Um, but there's other combinations, depending on what Astromon you're using her with, you know, you're going to change your gem skill set. Uh, so, but the dark one is actually really good. Um, she does look really, really good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I would love to build one of her, um, if I can manage to get both. Um, I do have some super holy gleams I saved up as well. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited for her. I am uh, happy that they did actually make her a usable one. Um, you know, like some of these other ones that they've released lately that are just kind of like meh um you know like the fire belial for example is probably going to be your only good one next to the dark one um and the other three were pretty much trash but uh i mean you know it depends on your uses if you're using curse you know for the wood apophis for example she the wood uh belial is pretty good but um overall i do really really enjoy uh the light uh sariel um so th there you go guys that's pretty much it for the review for her um of course they did change up the ui i'm sure you guys already saw this but you can do all kinds of filtering now so you know make sure that you guys are getting yourselves used to that there was a huge patch for that quality of life improvement there's definitely some more things that they could do to improve uh you know some of the things around here like for example the biggest thing here in the room the biggest elephant in the room is going to be the gems i still don't understand why we have flat gems i really really don't with the amount of gems that exist currently in the game there's just no need to have um you know flat gems there's just there's just so many gem types uh that you really don't need any any of those so uh, but yeah definitely take advantage of the fact that you can filter things um there are going to be some more changes coming up pretty soon as well um so stay tuned guys uh that's it for this review i'll catch you all on the next video take it easy guys